everyone, it's Els van der Burgt here on Technique Friday. Today I'll be showing you how to create this sparkling winter village easel card. I had a lot of fun creating this card. Uh, the dies I used are the Village Edges die set. So it comes with the two edges, the trees, the little fence and the shooting star. And then we have the fitted rounded rectangle die set and we have the stitched rounded rectangle die set. And they combine together because they're all like a quarter inch apart so you can stack these so use them for matting and layering as well in your scrapbook and then we have the diagonal stitch fishtail die set and i also put this one on here because these match as well so that's the regular one and then we have the snowflake die set that comes with three snowflakes and i'm using this one today and then we have the stamp set that's this one it's a joyful wishes and the one i'm using today is from our home to yours and then we're using the cool diamond silk microfine glitter our clear double-sided adhesive and the white soft finish cardstock so let me put the dies aside uh, so this is the card i'm going to create but i want to show you a few other cards that uh, josette created already um, so this one you can actually find this one on the packaging. So you said use like a cream uh, cardstock here. So use several trees. Uh, made some dimensional dimension on there. So really, really nice card. And then this one, a total white card. So that's also an easel. I created this one. So kind of similar. But I use little snowflake stickers on that one. And all in white. And then Josette created this one with a little bit of blue ink. I love that. And then the two layers again from the... Uh, houses and the little fences and the little trees. So those are just some ideas for the uh, die set, what you can do as well. But uh, today, so we're going to create like an easel card. So I have the part, I'm going to put it flat so it's easier for you to see. So I have the parts cut already. So what I did here, so I had that rounded rectangle. I cut that one and then I cut the, ho the row houses out of that one. And then I have the second layer is the one with the double-sided adhesive on it. And I'm going to glitter this one. So let me put that aside. Let me bring in my glitter tray. So I have the cool diamonds and I have the large jar here. Because if you do a lot of bigger parts, if you think, oh, I'm going to make uh, a lot of these cards, it's easy when you have the, the large jar to do that. So using my tweezer to take this off. And again, don't touch, don't try to not touch the sticky so i use this as a handle then i'm going to sprinkle a little bit here tap it off and now i can grab it here take off that release sheet because then you don't get a mess when you work with the glitter and i'm using the cool diamonds here and you brush it off a bit put my glitter back into the jar and then we're going to polish it or Burnish that glitter into the tape. And now you're going to just rub it in a bit. And we're not going to use a second color here. So if I just do this, that should be fine. That should be good enough. Brush it off one more time. So we don't have any loose glitter anymore. And then I'm going to put my glitter tray away. And of course, no need to tell you for people that watch my videos that this will be a really nice stencil for another card with the glitter. So then here I have my card. So that's an A2 size card. And this is actually, I wanted to show you this. So this is the, uh, rec uh, the rounded rectangle that I used to cut this. So you first cut this, put your die on there, and then you have this part. And I have to show you, uh, because I'm in the studio, so I'm having some green here. And here I etched the snowflake a little bit with the um, distress as well, with the gray color, hickory smoke. But I forgot it. So we're going to have a white snowflake on this one. So this is the uh, peeled paint I'm using. And it's basically the same what I did with the, uh, with the snowflake as well. Just add a little bit of color. So that's that. And then I'm going to clean my table a bit so I don't have green ink on my card. So let's start putting the card together. So what I did, A2 size card, and I made a score line in the middle here. So that's just, that's basically the base for my easel. Then I'm going to attach this part to the card first kind of I'm kind of attaching this on here but I take this part here the rectangle because I want to kind of measure it a little bit and I just do a strip of double-sided adhesive here and here and that's enough 
So I kind of, so I put this in place. So that's kind of how I did it and that I know it's not overlapping. And then of course this one, I need to have nicely at the bottom. So I'm just going to attach this together. So that's that one. Then I'm going to put some more double-sided adhesive here. So this is actually a card if you, you know, if you want, if you need to do a lot, a lot of cards, this is one that's easy to make. And um, it's a beautiful card and people can uh, put it on the mantle, you know, display it really nicely. So you see, so this is all uh, kind of loose and I like that. So I leave that that way. And then I'm going to put snowflake. So again, this one adds a little bit with the hickory smoke, but since I forgot that, we're not doing it on this card and it will be pretty as well. So I just cut it in two. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the kids glue because I don't want to stick it all the way down. So I did not put double-sided adhesive on the back of the snowflake because I like it when it's not all the way down. That is a little bit of that gives it a little bit of dimension. So I can lift this and just line it up on the stitched edge. And put it straight, of course, which is easy to do because it's, you see, so now I have my snowflake. It looks nice with just the white as well. Then I'm going to put the trees on and the shooting star. So with the shooting star as well, I did the same. So just a little bit of uh, glue. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here in the center of the snowflake. That's kind of a nice touch. Um, then I'm going to stamp the... Um, word on there so from our home to yours I'm going to stamp that on the fishtail just holding it for a second don't move it and then it should be fine you see that's a beautiful stamp and then for this one I made a score line here at an inch because I'm going to fold that to the back of the card so now I'm going to attach the snowflake at the bottom here. So I'm going to attach this one. Same way. Just a little bit of glue here at the bottom. Going to attach that here. So that's there. Then I'm going to finish this part. So I have the fence here. So I put the tree in front of the fence. And again, on this card, I have the fence a little bit edged as well. You see, it has a little bit of hickory smoke there. And it's easy to line up. So this one actually had the double-sided adhesive. So you can imagine if you want to glue this on with a liquid glue, that's basically impossible. So you just put some double-sided adhesive on the back before you die cut. Same with the trees. Those all have double-sided adhesive on the back as well. So it's very easy to put them down. And I have to say I loved creating this card because, you know, it's easy with the beautiful results. And I'm going to slide one tree behind here. And I'm doing that because I want to kind of get rid of that edge here, you see. So the other one is hiding be behind the house here, but this one I have here. So I'm going to place that tree exactly on the edge so you don't see that anymore. And then I have one tree left. And of course you can add more trees if you want to. I can also make that shooting star in a, kind of add, add a little bit of yellow uh, distress ink if I want to. You see, so now my panel is ready. Then I'm going to put um, some double-sided adhesive here. Just for small pieces. I can also do one larger piece, but that's that. And then I'm going to put some 3D foam on this part because that's going to be my easel part, of course. So cutting this, I need to make it a little bit smaller. So that's this. So put this here. Take this off. And how I attach this one. So this is kind of folding to the back because otherwise it was going all the way over the snowflake and I did it one that. So basically how I attach it's kind of I folded it like this, slide the card in there because if you do that perfectly then you have a straight then your snowflake is going to be straight as well. So do that and then of course you 
eyeball the snowflake, but it should be fine. Yeah, it is fine, you see. So now that's going to create my easel. And the only thing I need to do now is attach the panel. And what I did is, so I do here and then I do a little piece here. Because you don't want to go, of course, with your tape over that score line. So I'm not going to put tape here. I'm going to do that here. So on the fold. If you want to see it like that's more clear, probably. And don't go all the way to the edge because otherwise the panel will not cover the tape. So you don't want any tape exposed there. And then just as this is just going to be centered on the A2 size card on the whole panel. This. And now your card is finished. So here you have your easel. Let me put this with it as well. So you know how it looks when you do the little bit of the edging. They're both beautiful. So that's it. So the easel. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've suggested a couple of videos for you to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the free project sheet for supplies, measurements and step-by-step -step instructions. See you next time.